This is the final programming example of this section where we have learned if else. Now we are going to write a program that's going to check whether a given year is leap year or not. We know that leap year comes in every fourth year where we have 29 days in the month of February. Every fourth year is leap year, but the century, that means the hundredth year is not leap year unless and until it's 400th year. Now why so? I would recommend you to go through some website that provides the calculation which actually justifies this. But here we are supposed to write the program that's going to tell us if a given year is leap year or not. Now 1985 was not a leap year because that doesn't belong to the set of every fourth year. 1988 was obviously a leap year because it's divisible by four, comes in every four, it belongs to the set of every fourth year. 1800 on the other hand, although it belongs to the set of every fourth year, is not a leap year because it's hundredth year and not a 400th year. If it is a century, then it, it has to be a 400th year in order to be a leap year. So 2000 was a leap year. Now, first of all, let's go through the logical flow in order to determine whether a given year is leap year or not using a flowchart. This is the flowchart that actually represents how we can determine whether a given year is leap year or not. Here, this is the first decision that we need to take by dividing the leap by dividing the year with four we need to check whether the year is divisible by four or not at the very beginning after taking the year from input console now if the year is not divisible by four obviously it is coming to this hand this is for answer false for false condition so it's going to tell us that it's not a leap year if it's not div divisible by four it's not a leap year so if it is divisible by four that means divisible by four is true then it's belonging to the set of every fourth year then we need to check whether it is a century or not so we are coming to this hand and checking with this decision box that whether it is divisible by 100 or not if it is false that means it's not divisible by 100 so it's not a century but still it is divisible by 4 so it's telling us that it, yes it's leap year otherwise if the year is divisible by 100 we need to test whether it is 400th year or not so we are coming through this hand and again checking here whether the year is divisible by 400 or not if it's true then we are saying that yes it is leap year otherwise if it is false we are saying that no this is not leap year so first of all we need to check the divisibility by 4 if it is false it's not leap year then if it is true go on test with divisibility by 100 if that is false no yes it's leap year otherwise if that is true go on checking with divisibility by 400 if that is true, then only it's leap year, otherwise it's false, then it's not leap year. Okay, now let's start developing the program. We have declared a variable named year, integer variable. We have given the prompt with the printf to enter the year, and then we have written the scanf function to input the year. Now we need to first check whether the year is divisible by 4, according to the logic or not. Year% 4 is going to give us the remainder if we divide year by 4 and if that remainder equals to 0 then it is divisible by 4 now if that is not true that means if the year is not divisible by 4 we straightforward go to the else part and we should write that no this is not a leap year now this else is having only one statement so we can omit this bracket that's not required mandatory now if the year is divisible by 4 then we should check whether it is a century or not so Again, we write a if, so we are checking whether the year is divisible by 100 or not. If the year is not divisible by 100, then we are going to the else part and writing that, yes, it's a leap year. Okay, now you can see that this if and else is actually within the block of this if. So this if is actually called the nested if that is within this if. So if this condition is true, only in that case, this if is going to be tested, otherwise not. So if this is false, straightforward comes here and prints that the year is not leap year. So now, if the year is a century, so we need to test whether it is 400th year or not. So for that, we will do year percent 400. If that gives zero, then we will say that, yes, it's leap year. Otherwise, if it is not the 400th year, but a century, then no, this is not a leap year. Now you can see that this is nested within this if and this if is ne nested within this. And one more thing here, this particular statement is going to be considered as a single statement because 
this else is written against this if and if and else is considered to be a single statement and this particular printf is actually under this if so this if is having only one statement and that is this if and this else is written against this if so they are a single statement so we can omit this as well this curly brace can be omitted so that will make our code much smarter and further going ahead this is a single statement this else in with the same logic this else is against this if and if is considered as a single statement all these things are under this if so this particular if is having a single statement in its block so we can just omit this as well i have indented the blocks so that you can understand which particular statement is under which other statement it's clear and clean for example if we Consider the input year is 1985, it is going to return a non-zero value here. In that case, this condition is going to fail and we are coming here and printing that, no, this is not a leap year. If we are giving something else, say 1984, then this is true. We are coming here and we are testing that whether the year is divisible by 100 or not. 1984 is not divisible by 100. So we are coming to the else part and saying that, yes, it's leap year. Now, if you are giving say 400, then this is true. Again, this is tested. This is again true. Again, we are coming inside. This is tested. This is true. So we are printing that, yes, it's leap year. For 1800, this will be false and we will go to the else part and here it will be printed that this is not a leap year. Let me execute the program and show you that I'm pretty correct. So I'm giving 1985. It's saying that no, it's not leap year. Indeed, it's not leap year. I'm giving 1988. So it was a leap year. Then I'm running once more. I'm giving 1800, not a leap year. Running once more, I'm giving 2000. 2000 was a leap year. It's showing that yes, it's a leap year. We can make this program a lot more smarter one by using the logical operators. Now the condition for leap year is that it should not be divisible by 100, but it should be divisible by 4 or it should be divisible by 400. So instead of writing all those if else, nested if else, what we can do, we can just write a single if else for that purpose. That means if the year is divisible by 4, and that we write using double ampersand the year is not divisible by 100 so we can write in this way year percent 100 not equals to 0 that's actually not divisible by 100 then it's leap year or it's actually year percent 400 is 0 that means it is divisible by 400 so you can just write it in a single go instead of all those ifs and else by nesting them within one another it's a simple one if the year is divisible by 4 and not divisible by 100 or it is divisible by 400 then it's leap year so if this if is true that means the condition that we have written in the if is true then it's leap year so we can write else if the condition is false that means it's not satisfying the condition then we can write that no percent d is not a leap year we are printing the year as well let me execute the program and show you that it's working fine so here we go i'm just giving 1985 not a leap year executing once more i'm giving 2000 okay it's leap year so you can go with the other inputs and see that whether it's working fine or not. It's working fine actually, no problem with that. And again, going ahead, we can make it more smarter by using the ternary operators. I'm giving you this assignment to just replace this code using ternary operator. If you have gone through the tutorial that deals with ternary operator, then you can just replace this code using ternary operator. That will be much more smarter.